Hi there. Uh, today we're going to look at calculating the interior and exterior angles in regular polygons. So the first thing to probably do is to define these two words. We've got the two mathematical terms polygons and regular. The word polygon refers to any two-dimensional shape that is formed with straight lines. So a triangle, a square, a kite, um, a parallelogram, any of those shapes we could refer to as polygons. The word regular, that talks about shapes that have equal sides and equal angles. So a square would uh, count as a regular polygon, but a parallelogram and kite they would not be regular polygons because they have differing side length and differing angles within the shape. Okay, so if we have a look at this triangle here, it's an equilateral triangle, which is telling me that this side, this side, and this side are equal, and all three angles are equal. So the equilateral triangle is a regular polygon. If I wanted to work out this angle here, so the interior angle, this angle here, um, I would have to know the total amount of, what the total sum of the angles in the triangle was and divide it by three, because there's three angles. We know that the sum of the angles in a triangle is 180. So if I divide that by three, I would find out that the interior angle of an equilateral triangle is 60 degrees. This angle here is what I refer to as the exterior angle. It is the angle that is created between the shape and 180 degrees, a straight line here. So it's not the full outside of the shape, it's just created on a straight line. So in a triangle, what we're dealing with is these facts. The total interior angles of a triangle, as we know, is 180 degrees. One interior angle would be 60 degrees, 60 degrees once we've divided by three. And therefore, the exterior angle would be 180 subtract 60, leaving us with 120 degrees. If we move on to the next regular polygon, which is a square, four sides, all sides are the same, all angles are the same. We already know that a square has a total, the four total angles add up to 360 degrees. If we weren't aware of that, we could split the shape into two triangles. This triangle would be worth 180 degrees. This triangle would be worth 180 degrees, therefore giving us total interior angles of a square adding up to 360. So therefore, if I wanted to work out the interior angle of a square, I would take 360 and divide it by four. That's how many sides a square has. That's how many angles a square has. So I divide by four. So my interior angle of a square would be 90 degrees. If I subtract that away from 180 to get the exterior angle, we find that the exterior angle of a square is also 90 degrees. Okay, if we make things a little bit more math mathematical, because we might not always be dealing with polygons with just three sides or four sides. What happens if we have a polygon with 20 sides or 24 sides? We need some sort of calculation to work out the total of the angles inside the polygon, and then a calculation to work out what one angle in the polygon would be worth. If we want to find the sum of all of the angles inside a polygon, when n is the number of sides, we take the number of sides, we subtract 2, and then we multiply by 180. So if we applied this to a square, the number of sides is 4, 4 take away 2 is 2, 2 times 180 tells me that the total angles inside a square sums to 360. Now if I just wanted to find one single angle inside a polygon, which would be the interior angle, I take my total sum of the angles, which is the top here, and I divide 
again by the number of sides so if we were dealing with a square it would be 4 minus 2 is 2 times it by 180 to get 360 then I divide by 4 that's telling me that the interior angle of a square would be 90 degrees these two equations become very helpful as we start dealing with polygons with more and more sides. Okay, let's have a look at two more before I give you some tasks to do. Here we have a regular pentagon. It's got five sides. Okay, using the equation we looked at on the previous slide, if we took the number of sides, which is five, and we subtracted two, we'd end up with three, times that by 180, that's gonna tell me that all five angles add up to 540. Once I know that, to find an individual angle, I would take my 540 and divide by five, which is gonna tell me that one individual angle, an interior angle here, would be 108 degrees. Once we know the interior angle, we can work out the exterior angle by subtracting that value from 180. So if we look at the question like this, if I didn't want to use the equation, I could visualize splitting the shape into three triangles, 180, 180, 180, gives me a total interior angles of 540. Once I divide by n, or divide by the number of sides, I get 108 for each interior angle. For the exterior angle, which is this angle here, remember, we take our interior angle and subtract it from 180, which for a pentagon leaves us with 72 degrees. Okay, now we're dealing with a hexagon, a six-sided polygon. We could, of course, split the hexagon into four triangles, 180, 180, 180, 180. But we could also apply the equation, n minus two times 180 degrees. n is six for this shape, six minus two is four, four times 180 tells me that the total of the interior angles would be 720. If I know the total of all six angles is 720, I'm going to divide that number by n, which in this case is six, to tell me that one interior angle is 120 degrees. Once I know the interior angle is 120 degrees, my exterior angle has to be 180 subtract 120, leaving me, of course, with an exterior angle of 60 degrees okay let's have a quick recap before i give you some tasks to do okay so if we have a regular polygon we can visualize splitting the shape into triangles to find the sum of the interior angles however we can also apply some equations n minus 2 times 180, when n is the number of sides, will tell us the total of the angles inside the polygon. And if we then divide that by n, that's going to tell us the value of one angle inside the polygon, one interior angle. Once we know an interior angle, the exterior angle is quite simple to find. We just subtract the value of the interior angle from 180 degrees to tell us the exterior angle. In this case here, it would be 60 degrees. So this is a bit of a recap slide. Of course, you have the ability to pause the video at any point if you need to take a little bit longer to look over the summary. Okay, this is your first task. I would like you to copy out the following table. So you're gonna need one, two, three, four, five, six columns, and the title of each column is at the top of the screen there. Again, you can pause the video if you need to at this point. I would like you to copy out this table. 
Okay, so your first task is here. There's a lot of information here, but it is not in the correct order. I would like you to take all the information that's displayed on this screen and place it correctly into this table. You'll need to name the shape. You'll need to draw the shape as accurately as possible. We'll need to do some calculations to work out angles. And we also need to name each shape. We might need to do a little bit of research if there's a couple of shapes there that we don't know what name, uh, what the name is for that shape. So your first task, and again, you can pause the video here. I would like you to place all of this information into the table you have just drawn. Okay, here's another question. For the next five questions, I want you to pause the video, have a go at working out why, and then I will give you my solution. How would you work out why in this question? Okay, welcome back. My solution is displayed here. We work out the interior angles of the square, the equilateral triangle, and the pentagon and all four angles are around a point, so we make sure all four angles add up to 360, so the value of y is 102 degrees. How would you work out y in this question? Pause the video here. Okay, welcome back. Again, like the previous question, we work out the interior angles of the hexagon and the square. And what do we need to make them add up to 360 degrees? Because they're all angles around a point. The value of y is 30 degrees. How would we work out y in this question? Pause the video. Okay, welcome back. We know that the interior angle of a square is 90 degrees. The interior angle of a hexagon is 120, which means this little value here will be the answer when we take 120 and subtract 90. So Y has a value of 30 degrees. How would you answer this question? How would you find the value of Y? Feel free to pause the video. Welcome back. Okay. This is a much more difficult question. We need to be aware that we're dealing with an isosceles triangle over here. We know this interior angle is 108, and we know this angle and this angle have to be 36. We have a similar setup over here. Interior angle is 108 making this 36 and this 36 because again we are dealing with an isosceles triangle 108 subtract 36 subtract 36 tells us that the value of y is also 36. there's other ways to approach this question